Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today we are working on my 1973 Nova. I had to replace the leaf springs, and at the end of the video, I will have a full definition of how to take them all off and how to put them back on. So let's get into it. Swag, bitch. Okay, guys. So today we are replacing the leaf springs in our 1973 Chevy Nova. Um, well, my dad's been working on her for the last year to two now. Uh, he hasn't really told me any updates or processes because I've been busy with my job and all this stuff. But um, right now I got every bolt sprayed down. I'm going to drop the leaf springs all today. Should only take about two, maybe two and a half hours to drop both of them and install the new ones because what they come to assumption of, of why the car is so like lenient and why it's out of alignment is because the leaf springs are bad so we will be going through this process today and show you how everything's done so I just wanted to go over the rest of it guys oh this is gonna be the last final video for this the first one was just me explaining this. So the other one was in. I had a problem with that bracket. These brackets are the most common mishaps in Nova history. Like these you can't unbolt because the frame is literally right there. So you have to drop this whole bracket. It's kind of, there's one bolt here. There's another one here. Here. And then there's one up underneath here. And this whole bracket drops. Take all four U bolts out take the shock off and take the uh, the hangers out and you will be good don't know how anybody else's Nova set up but that's how mine is I hope this video was good for you guys if you have any questions or concerns leave them in the comments and I will get back to you shortly alright guys enjoy your project bye -bye. thank you for making it all the way to the end of my video now um, the blue on it as everybody has been asking it has it is a 19 it is a Chevy Silverado 2013 blue now this color has been discontinued for four to five years now, and I uh, yeah, painted mine over about two years ago, so that was a very fun process of finding paint again. <laughs> so um, the leaf springs, uh, if you're taking the car apart all together, like the hole underneath to redo the hole underneath to paint it, um, it'll be a lot more of a process because I've already done that. I uh, did um, heavy rust oleum shiny black paint gloss, um, but anyway. To replace the relief springs was pretty easy. So what you do is you just you jack up the car, you put make sure it's on jack stands on the frame of the car. Then you take off the shocks. Then you have to make sure you unloosen the U bolts from the rear. Now you can jack up the rear to get off the tension of it. Me, I just didn't really care. So you drop the one down, you drop the other one down, and it's ready to be put the other ones in the brackets that actually ha hold it towards the front where it's underneath the back seat of the car now those brackets the bolts that go through there you can't just disconnect them you have to disconnect that whole bracket and drop the whole bracket down now the only problem with that is is the brackets itself are how can i say this not very good um condition you will probably have to buy the new clips for the bolts to go into the holes, if you know what I'm talking about. If anybody owns a classic car, you probably know what the clips are that go into the frame so you can bolt up in there. Um, I've had seven or eight of them snap in those holes, and we had a whole bunch of different clips. So I had to go out and buy new clips to put into the holes to jack the car up. Basically, take the leaf spring down. You have the back center, and if you wanted to, you could take your old grommets out. They're still good, which mine are only like a year old. So I took my old ones out and put them in my new ones. Now the leaf springs, the difference was I had a lot more tension in the back and it wasn't as saggy as it was. Now, the only problem I have with the rear is it's a 70 it's it's a 373 posi rear. Now this rear has been in a car accident and I believe it's bent out of shape with the with the car. So I believe the whole rear is twisted somehow from being a hit because the guy basically hit a pole and then slammed into another pole. So maybe he was drifting and just hit a pole and then slammed in because the whole rear is like over like this on my car. Now I have 
I have done the shift, the shims, the shifting it. Uh, I replaced all the U bolts twice already. So my next plan of action is getting a new rear. Now the holes are not oblonged or anything. They're not moved or shifted or anything. So it's kind of a messed up process. Yes, I know. I don't want to do the whole process, but I have to. Um, there are shackles on the back of mine that drop from the back of the gas tank down to the actual leaf spring. Um, but the way you take them off is shocks, then unbolt the U-joints, and then basically take the back off, then take the front bracket off, and then your leaf spring comes right away out. Um, all I know is I have to set up my 373 positive rear either over this way because it's over by – it's over on this – on the driver's side, it's an inch and a quarter in, and on the other side, it's sticking out by two inches. So I either have to shim the back of it over, because when you look at the leaf springs, they're not straight. They're like this. So it's either the rear is twisted or something in that manner. But I will have to go into more detail with that later on. Um, or I will go into a machine shop and get that fixed eventually. But right now... Um, I'm a little low on money funds for this car. Uh, I've had the car since I was 10, and on my old YouTube channel, there's a whole ton of videos of it. It was called Mezwiz. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of it. So this was replacing the leaf springs on 1973 Nova. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, I will possibly do be doing uh, dropping the gas tank soon because I have to put a new uh, gas filter in it. Well, not gas filter. I'm sorry, gas sending unit. So I have to get in a whole new gas tank and a whole new sending unit, which I have that in the garage already. So you will be seeing that soon. All right, guys, I will talk to you in the next video. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.